Hey there, stampers, and welcome to another Step It Up video. Uh, we're going to use the Longfellow's Hostess stamp set today. I love this set, but I wasn't quite sure what to do with it, so I was determined to come up with a Step It Up card that uh, would use it. Cause th this little alligator or crocodile, whatever, is so cute, and so I wanted um, to give everyone a wing to use it in, in uh, three different ways. So here's our level one card, or step one. Very simple. The most difficult part is a fussy cut. Uh, this is our step two. I just added some pattern paper and a mat and two brads, not much. And the step three, where we added another mat, some sewing detail, and the dots embossing. So my son was asking me when I was showing him the cards last night, why did you use that wacky paper? He liked the dots and he figured out that the polka dots were mimicking the dots on the, the crocodile or alligator. But then I told him that I selected the, um, this particular pattern paper because of the teeth and we're asking him to smile. So I thought it was a way, to, kind of a fun way. Anyway, a little too much jibber jabber and too much deep thought about what I did here. So let's go ahead and get started with um, this level one, the step step one card. And as always, I'll add um, all the dimensions in text on the video. So we are starting by using the um, crumb cake cardstock, and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, and then it's folded at four and a quarter to create your card base. Um, for the level, the step one card, we are just using a piece of Whisper White and it's going to be placed right there. This is the little uh, alligator crocodile and I stamped on, um, I actually did a bunch of these. I stamped him. I wanted to show you that I used, uh, I did a, a technique video uh, this week called uh, Dry Aqua Painter. And I painted him that way, and I just wanted to show you that it's not as hard as you think to do it. I just, I didn't create it perfectly. I went outside, I didn't worry about going, because you're going to cut all of this out. Where you only want to be careful is around the mouth, because we're not cutting out all each, each individual tooth. So you want to be careful at the tips of the mouth. But everywhere else, you can go outside the line and um, have fun and paint. And I used Pear Pizzazz ink on our little crocodile. And I aqua painted the whole thing, and then I just used um, the actual marker tip to do um, the dots, so they became a more intense color. So on his spots, I just went in with the marker and made the color a little more intense. And I did it on the tips of his feet, too. But anyway, um, that's all there is to him. And... I see you later. I just, not my favorite sentiment because unless someone's going away, I don't send a lot of going away cards. But um, I did create my own, I think uh, this font is called Digs My Heart. And I just did it on the computer and printed it out on a piece of um, crumb cake cardstock. And then you're just going to finish. I started fussy cutting all the little details. And you're just going to fussy cut this guy out and um, then he'll be ready to stick on any level card. So this is the most difficult thing about the entire project, which isn't difficult. It does take a little time. Not a lot, but so isn't he cute, little guy? And so um, I cut the smile crocodile out and put it over here, smile crocodile and to get the um, I had him just like this and I, I put him down with dimensional I used the edge part you can see I took it it was he was this was the perfect bit to put um, him on I, I I probably used more than I needed to but it was perfect and it kept him flat and uniform um, for this little last detail I had the card just like this and I just thought oh something it's too plain for me so I just added this little detail I use a fine um, fine point pen and these happen to be I think zig markers 
and it's a Micron 01. Um, and I use it for these kind of little details. And that's it to step one. Very easy and quick, and I think it's very cute. So the step two card, you can see, although it looks like it's much fancier, it, re it really isn't um, that much more. This is from the Greenhouse Gala paper, uh, designer series paper. So all you're doing is putting that down and then that same piece of Whisper White cardstock. Oh, I forgot to cut a little piece there. But you're going to just cut another little piece of uh, crumb cake. And we're going to put our Smile Crocodile back. And this time I decided to add the same detail on the white. And I did it on the outside as well. And then I added two fun little breads. Little teeny tiny black. I have them here. And use your mat pack to get it exactly where you want it. And then you add your breads. And then you put your little, where's my alligator? Or crocodile, I keep calling him that. And you put him just like you did on the other card. So easy and quick. And now step three, level three, um, it's the same exact thing. We're adding a black mat to really set it off and to tie back the font and the brads. Let me move these. So not a big change and not a big difficult thing to do. And then I took some pear instead of the crumb cake and matted it on black. I also ran the Whisper White through the Perfect Polka Dots embossing folder. But you don't have to. I just like how it kind of echoed the polka dots back in hand, but you can see it's perfectly fine without it. And um, on this one, I didn't stagger it, but I, I really do kind of like how it looks when it's lined up like that. And if you wanted, you could move it over and then still put your brads over here to line up like that and even add an extra one. There's a lot you can do. Now, the, the final big detail for this step three card I did was sewing. And if you don't have a machine, it's okay. You can use your mat pack. You can um, do squiggly lines like I did on the step three, um, step two. There's an endless possibilities, but I love the detailing and it also helps hold all, all the layers together. I think it's so cute. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Let me show you these again. This is our step one. Step two and step three. I hope you find ways to use this and um, have fun creating your own cards. Thanks for watching. Bye.